everyone. Welcome to the first ever episode of HackX Tech Talks. Today, we have a very special person with us. She's a young entrepreneur who has ventured into the industry of IT with her own products. She's a young person exploring new dimensions of IT-based solutions. And also, she's a proud product of the Department of Industrial Management. So joining with us today is Mrs. Pulni Singha, the founder and director of Clones Lab. Hello, madam. How are you feeling today? Hi, it's really nice to have an interview and uh, I'm very happy to be a part of it. So. Yeah, I'm very glad to hear that. So to begin with, first, we would like to know what was the inspiration behind the startup of Loons Lab and uh, how did the first idea about Loons Lab come to your mind? Uh, well, it's like this. So uh, we all have goals and dreams when we uh, grow up. So uh, my initial dream was to like do biology and to become a doctor, but somehow uh, with the all the stuff, I somehow end up in MIT. But I take it as a very blessing at this moment. So at that time, I was really confused of like, what should I do? Uh, like, what shall I do in future? Because all things just change. And uh, but I knew I wanted to make a difference. I I I want like. I didn't want it to go with the crowd or I didn't want it to uh, do what everyone else does. So because of that, I was kind of discovering myself while I was in the university. Like I was doing so many things like engaging current activities, clubs and everything. So um, on on those days, actually, uh, I uh, went to one of the hackathons and I realized uh, like what is... Uh, yeah. What is a uh, what is the process of making a product? What is a startup, and what what does it really mean to uh, mean the word entrepreneur and things like that? So uh, so that's when I decided like uh, that's where I should go. So that was actually my dream to become an entrepreneur, to have my own company, to build my own products. So uh, that's the initial motivation behind uh, putting the concept and band, uh, forming a company. Yes, great. So what exactly is your position in the company, in, in Loons Lab? Yeah, so I'm the founder and the director of the Loons Lab. So uh, what we do is uh, we, uh, we we do have like two sectors. We develop products and also we uh, do services. We provide services for the clients. So especially uh, we, are, uh, we have a good name in providing digitization services uh, to so many clients, like especially big clients, government clients, NGOs like UNDP, GIZ, and also like a lot of local overseas clients. So, uh, so that's that's basically about Loon Lab. So I'll be uh, I'll be basically managing the company, and from the forming stage up to now the managing stage. So that's that's my role in the company. Yes, amazing. So as we know, today's technologies are getting constantly updated and developed. So how does Loons Lab keep being updated with these rapid technological changes? Yeah, so basically what we do is, uh, like since we are more into projects as well as uh, our products, so uh, based on the different requirements and different uh, advancements of the products, um, what we do is like we try to uh, incorporate the latest technology, but uh, one thing I, I must say that uh, as a tech startup or tech company, actually we have to focus more on the business case or the business usage uh, more than the technology. Actually, technology needs to be uh, upgraded, but the main thing is solving the business case properly. So after checking the business case properly, then we see what is the latest technology or latest uh, technological advancement that we can uh, tackle this. So that's when we apply that technology. So we don't say like we apply AI straight away. It all depends on the requirement and it all depends on the business case uh, at that very moment. Yes, interesting. There's a lot that we can get there as well. So what are the future goals of Loons Lab? Yeah, actually our main goal is uh, to uh, initiate a Loons Lab branch in uh, USA. So we are actually working on it right now. Uh, so uh, that's that's the main goal. And uh, also we do have a couple of uh, uh, investment uh, plans for future. So uh, those are the main goals, right? Yes. So, and we hope you'll be able to succeed those goals as well. 
So Lawrence Lab has given us the guidance and support as a part of the Hackex Innovative Startup Challenge since its inception. So what do you think about Hackex, about the event? Yeah, actually, I think uh, Hackex is one of the most organized uh, hackathons I have ever seen. So from the first stage itself, from the uh, from Hackex 1.0. So at that time, I actually haven't started my uh, company as well. So at that time, uh, the juniors came to me like uh, since I have been to so many hackathons and I, I had like one so many hackathons. So for so for some advice is informing. And then uh, from the second uh, Hackex 2.0 onwards, so we Looms Up were able to uh, partner officially uh, as a partner and uh, maybe help in many ways, I don't know. Uh, so, uh, and uh, to take it forward. So uh, basically uh, like in Hackex, um, like not because of my department or not because of like uh, done by the juniors of our department, but I would say it is actually a very uh, organized and also it, it, uh, the main thing behind it is it evolved from year to year because it didn't stay as uh, like one in one format for the first year, second year, third year. So it, it kept on evolving and it kept on adding so many different flavors into it. So uh, I think HackX is uh, really wonderful and the output is really great as well. So I actually congratulate all the organizers from HackX 1.0 to HackX 6.0 right now, I guess. Thank you, Madam, and I'm very pleased to hear those words from you. So finally, what would be your message for the youngsters out there who are willing to be tech entrepreneurs, tech professionals in the future? Yeah, I think uh, while we are in the university, every one of us um, are really like, are very enthusiastic and we really want to become entrepreneurs, develop products and uh, form new companies. So I think like, like even coming to this hackathon and all this process of developing a product, taking it to a market and uh, uh, marketing it and uh, pitching it and everything like it's a like daily life of an entrepreneur. That's what you do when you form a company, your own company. So, uh, so what happened to all these people, all these participants of these hackathons and events uh, like while they go out of the university, I think most for most people, what happened is they just like forget everything and they start looking for jobs because that's what traditionally we have been used to do. So that's what we were like taught in most of our lectures or in uh, in, in by the society to ourselves. So um, what my message would be to like if if you are enthusiastic and if you um, want so much to like. Uh, form your own company or uh, build your own products and market it and if you're so much passionate about like all this process and uh, if you think you have the passion and the drive to do it so um, I would say like uh, do not stop like uh, like when you're getting out from the university do not stop it when you're when you get your degree certificate to your hand so I would say just uh, because we need more and more entrepreneurs in in Sri Lanka especially uh, to develop our economy and to, uh, I don't know, employ more people and uh, there's like a lot of jobs and potential, a uh, lot of space for entrepreneurs. So uh, I, I would say uh, people to start, uh, like think of starting your own company without just thinking of going to someone else's company and working uh, to achieve their goals. So just uh, try to pursue your own dream and uh, try to become an entrepreneur and try to experience that one and uh, try to do uh, your own thing and uh, take something to the world. So that, that's what my final message to uh, all the uh, potential technopreneurs out there. Yes, great. Man. That is really inspirational as well. So thank you, Menon, for your valuable advice and for joining with us today. We wish you all the very best for your future endeavors. Thank you and have a good day. Thank you and we wish you, I wish you all the very best as well in, uh, in organizing another successful hackathon. And also I wish uh, like we want to see more and more real entrepreneurs getting out of these hackathons. So I uh, wish you all the very best in creating entrepreneurs as well. And uh, thank you very much for having me. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. God bless you. Official Innovation Partner, Loons Lab.